Hey, welcome to Fast Facts. I'm John Joe, and we're, today we're going to be doing something a little different. So, as I've been a small YouTuber for quite some time now, there are some other YouTubers I've met along the way that really could do with getting noticed. They do a really good job at making content for the videos that they create. So these are going to be small YouTubers that haven't really got that many subscribers yet, haven't got too many views yet, but they're making really good content. And these are people that I actually do watch myself most of the time. So these are going to be people with a minimal amount of subscribers, but yet I believe they're going to grow because they're really good at what they do. And I can guarantee you, you're going to be amazed at the person in number one on this list. He's put so much effort into his live streams, it's just unreal. The amount of themes he's got going on, the games he plays in them, the way he hosts is awesome. So stick around for the number one slot on this list. All links will be in the description below, so if you like anyone, check them out. I know that some of the newer people on my channel are actually YouTubers themselves. They just haven't been noticed yet as well. So I thought it would be best to start with Jacob Billet. Now he's a great guy, he does live streams on Power Networking and Feedback Fridays are the main ones that I watch. So Power Networking is where you go in there and you request your channel to be viewed. Now you have to be patient because there's going to be a queue. He'll show your channel out and the audience gets to see who you are. You chat about what you do and you never know, people might enjoy your content. Well, Feedback Friday is just as important. In fact, probably the most important thing on his channel. Because Feedback Friday is where he will go through your channel and check out how your channel will get noticed. It will be either the SEO that he'll search through, going through your descriptions, the about page, maybe even checking your playlists and the tags on your video. The way you set up your titles can have an effect on whether you get searched in the YouTube algorithm. And Jacob Billet has really helped me understand how my channel can get viewed in the search results. Now Jacob Billet gives advice mostly on the SEO side of YouTube and the data and analytics and trying to help you out that way. He claims not to be that much of a content creator himself, but if he says he's not much of a content creator, I mean, look at his stream. He's got a battle cat. He's upgraded. He's got a full military thing going on now. I think he's got a pretty good content going on right now. Now, he doesn't just focus on live streams. Some of the videos that he uploads bases on Motivation Monday, Trending Tuesday, or Wealth Wednesday. He talks about quite a variety of things. So, whatever you like, I'm sure that he'll have something there for you. Why not check him out? So here's an interesting channel, it's Real World Magic. Now his channel is all about making your lives more magical. Funnily enough, his most popular video is how to get magical powers in the real world. And it is a serious video, he is talking about how you can get some forms of superpowers just with knowledge and science, I guess, in some respects. Just understanding how things work and the way people think can give you the edge when it comes to certain things, essentially magical powers. So I really suggest going out to his channel and checking out that video. I actually quite enjoyed that one too. So yeah, we also collabed together once a very long time ago. And on his channel, we did top 10 magic tricks. I'll leave links under his channel link below as well. And every time he uploads a video, he's always trying to make it better, including recently where he's changed the thumbnail style and they look a lot better. It's really, really eye-catching and they will probably get more views from that. And it's not just his thumbnails, he's even made his green screen better. So he's always trying to improve and I'm sure he'll have some magical things to talk about with you guys if you're interested in that sort of thing. Okay, so this is the first and only vlogger on this list. I personally don't like vlogging, but hey, it's Jen, or Jenzilla as Jacob Billet calls her sometimes. Well, the videos that she creates are actually really entertaining. She really does edit them in a very unique style. And not only that, her videos have a purpose. They're not just, <laughs> I went shopping for five minutes, here's my experience. No. Currently her focus is on her wedding that's coming up, which congratulations by the way if you watch this. And um, yeah, good luck on getting a thousand subscribers because I know that's your target. And if you like DIY stuff, she's also doing DIY things for her wedding and she's made some videos on those. I actually found out that she doesn't like the heat and in fact prefers cold and gloomy weather. I mean, what a weirdo, right? <laughs> yeah, right, I can't do it anymore. Actually, this is something we have in common. I hate the heat, I love the cold and the grey skies. In fact, my favourite weather is grey skies, a little bit of rain that you can feel but not see, 
and just a chilly breeze going through. That's my favourite weather. Who likes the heat? Why? Why does everyone like the hot weather? It makes no sense to me. There's wasps, hay fever, you get sunburn. You don't get any of that in the cold weather. Why do people hate heat it so much? And my eyes are oversensitive to light, so that doesn't help. And, well, I guess that's why I'm happy to live in the UK. That's perfect weather there. But, anyway, I got a bit sidetracked there. If you really like that sort of content anyway, then go check her out. She's a great person to watch, and I'm sure you'll enjoy her. A lot of you came and joined my channel while I was in the middle of making a playlist collaboration with Berryman. So the playlist collaboration was about Resident Evil as a franchise. So on his channel, he ranked the games from worst to best, and then I did the games fast facts. And then he did 10 ways to make the Resident Evil films better. And he plans to continue his series on ways to make things better, but he's planning to stop doing the worst to best rankings. And he's now also upgraded and working with a proper green screen, just like the way I do, straight behind me. Now he's a person that we've worked together on quite a few videos, and probably the person I've worked with most on YouTube. But we also talk offline quite a lot as well now, we've become quite good friends. He's probably the person I've worked with most on YouTube. I mean, and I've even appeared on other videos of his, you know, where he phoned me up and tried to tell me a fact and I just hung up on him because I got a thousand subscribers. And just to confirm, it was a joke. It was actually his idea. I thought it was funny, so I went along with it. Hold on, let's give John the driver a call. Hey John, it's oh, Berryman. Hey, 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 uh, I've got an interesting fact uh, for you. Yeah, right, yeah. Cool story, bro. Getting over a thousand subscribers changes people there. So now this guy could probably host a cooking channel of his own on Netflix and you wouldn't even question the quality. He is just so good at presenting and making these videos and if you really really enjoy your cooking you'll really enjoy this guy. This guy's pour my pork barbecue. To be honest my cooking skills are throwing something in the oven and still hoping I don't burn it. Yeah, that bad. So I could probably learn a thing or two from this guy, because like, I need to improve my cooking, to be fair. If you're interested in finances and, well, the stock market, then Malone Money Mindset is actually going to be your friend. Malone Money Mindset talks about Robinhood, the trading platform, not the fox. So he will show you on Robinhood his whole portfolio and what he plans to do with it and why he invests his money where he does. So if you're really interested in the stock markets and learning how it works, then I suggest watching his channel and you'll probably learn a thing or two. And he is very knowledgeable on the stock markets and trading and the companies that he invests in. And just in case you want any form of proof so that you know he's not just, you know, talking about it. And he actually shows off his portfolio on a regular basis. So in that sense, you can see where he's been successful and where he hasn't been. He's a very open and honest person when it comes to it. Artzilla Aisha, I hope I got that right, and I'm sorry if I didn't, but it's not to be confused with Jenzilla, that was previously on this list. Artzilla Aisha creates images in Photoshop, mostly of fantasy or horror so far. I've seen zombies on her channel, I've seen a Crystal Ball on her channel, I've seen a few others which are absolutely amazing. I really suggest checking it out just to have a quick view if, you, if you're interested. She creates a time-lapse video of her whole process creating the image. And every now and then she'll focus a bit on gameplay with Devil May Cry and some other sort of games. But mostly it's just art, hence the name Artzilla. And I'll leave you for a couple of moments while I go through a couple of the images that she has created. I really like that one. So this channel, 3411 Heaven Media, is basically a tech unboxing reviewer channel, but it's not quite as simple as that. They like to add a bit of comedy in their channel, but they explain it better than I do, I'll let them. Hello and welcome to 3411 Heaven. My name is David and I'm your host. We are a channel that specializes in high quality tech review and unboxing videos, just like this. What do we do? We take the boxes, we open them, we grab what's inside, we look at it, and then we tell you all about it. And well, as you can see, they're more than just a basic reviewing channel. They're actually really funny and entertaining, which will mean you'll like their videos, even if you're not interested in the product. So definitely some interesting content to watch there. If you're interested in tech and humor, which I think most people are, then go check them out. Thanks for stopping by. Bird out. 
So I've mentioned this guy in a video before where I did tarantulas and it was him and his partner that suggested the tarantula video. So this channel is particularly interesting if you're interested in comic book styled stuff and Dragon Ball Z. Because he's got his own fan made spin off of Dragon Ball with Dragon Ball Sinister, which he creates the art, animations and voiceover for his series of Dragon Ball Sinister as a comic book. However, I believe his future episodes with the Dragon Ball Sinister series will be in full animation. That's a lot of work for one person. He is well deserving of more subscribers than he currently has. We just need to get his channel viewed by more people. And he's also got his own original work, which is Dark World, which has created everything for, and some of the people on the list that I've mentioned above actually are going to be the voice actors. In fact, Jacob Billet and Berryman have already been the voiceovers for Dark World Episode 1. And I'm going to be generically voice acting characters in Dark World, and I'll also be voice acting Bardock in Dragon Ball Sinister. And yeah, Dark World can be pretty dark, and it's looking absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see more from both Dark World and Dragon Ball Sinister. And now for the number one on this list, it's the Still Winter Nation. So every time he starts his live stream, I'm always there waiting for the coward just so I can see him riding on a chariot of four horses. Go, yeah, come on guys, come on in. Hey, we're welcoming everyone into the chat. And I'm going to stop doing that because he pulls it off better than me. In fact, Time to go live, ladies and wait, live. It's time to go dead. Let's go. My goodness, it's nice to see you all this afternoon. Ride on, my ghouls, my ghosts, my vicious monsters, my vicious toast. Yes, indeed, it's lovely to see you. Happy National Toast Day! Yay! Nomads here to celebrate it with me. Happy National Strawberry Day! My goodness, we have a lot to celebrate. Strawberries and toast, let's celebrate strawberry toast. My goodness, it's nice to see you all this afternoon. Blood X, welcome in. Ride on my horses, Blood X. He's like, I would love to ride those horses. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen, lovely to see you. Huh. The show's just now beginning. We uh, just rode into the underworld. We're prepped and ready for an awesome show this afternoon. So yeah, that's the Still Winner Nations intro. He's put so much effort into it. He's got so many themes. One of his themes is a steampunk style theme which I've only recently seen on his channel. Prior to that, he had an afterlife thing where he was sort of tr semi-transparent gray with fire behind him and stuff. It was really cool. Some of the games include facts, which I am personally a fan of, obviously. Um, but there are other things you have to do. So you collect points and you can redeem those points for certain actions. You, there is also another game in which you've got characters going all along the bottom of the screen. And one of those characters is you. So you have to type in exclamation mark fight into the chat and they'll all start fighting in a battle royale style thing. You've got to keep typing fight to keep attacking and eventually there'll be one last person standing and yeah, he's a really active person. He's done so much work on his live stream. It's surprising he hasn't grown faster, to be honest. He is amazing. Every time I've gone in there, he's like, John Joe! And then he gets confused as to whether it should be John or Joe or John Joe. And we have a talk. It's fun. It's, just, it's great. <laughs> so if you stuck around to the end, then let me know who your favorite was. Where are you going to go to from this video? Remember, the links are in the description. But comment where you're going first, because I want to know. I'm really interested to see what you guys think is the best on this list. So if you like this video, then click the like button. And... I'll see you around next time. Have a good day. It's more magical. Ironically, no, not ironically. I'm with you, Jen. I, I hate the, I hate the, uh, fair, fair. Jen's We've become quite good friends. <laughs>